What's up guys and welcome back to Minecraft on the Vintage Beef Vintage Craft server. Today we're going to take an Enderman for a ride. Guys, check this out. Let me F5 here and jump out of this boat. This is, sorry, this is Edward Man. Edward Man is our new, uh, I don't know if you could call an Enderman a pet or uh, a friend. Actually, I can look at the guy and he doesn't aggro while he's in the boat. And I don't know if that's because I, actually because he's been named or it, maybe it's because he's in the boat. I don't know, but I'm kind of afraid to let him out of the boat because I don't know what he will do. Um, so <laughs> Edward Man's gonna stay in the boat for a while. Actually, you know what guys? Let's go for a ride. <laughs> You guys ever taken an Enderman for a ride before? Well, I have now. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, guys. Uh, oh, okay. All right, let me get out of here. We got zombies coming here. What's up, Mr. Zombie? All right, you're not too friendly. You're not friendly like Edward Man. Edward Man. All right, I don't know. Okay, so he's, uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> yeah, I, if I let him out of the boat, he's gonna hit the water and he's going to, um, he's probably gonna teleport away from me. So, um, hmm. Well, you know what, guys? Uh, if Edward Man wants to stay, he can stay. If not, then, you know, he's free to leave whatever okay anyway guys I want to get over here and show you guys what I've been working on actually I, you can see I have a beacon going now I didn't fight the the wither boss um, I actually bought that beacon from someone I think they were selling it for like 20 diamonds which is really really cheap for a beacon but anyway guys over here is what I want to show you guys now today we are going to be doing a collab with uh, my friend uh, Meg Zemer you guys may be familiar with that name because he uh, is actually one of the guys that's, that's uh, helping out. At, he's actually one of the guys that's building over there at the uh, the Sky Squad, the Sky Islands, and um, he's also built the the boat, the Sky Boat for uh, Vintage Beef over on Frog Island. And today he's coming over here because he's going to be helping me with the skeleton spawner. Now I put it out. Um, in the last video, well, it wasn't the last video, but it was one of the last videos where I kind of uh, showcased this, the skeleton spawner that I found, and uh, McZemer said, you know, that he would help me with that. So, oh, I thought that was a skeleton riding a spider. So anyway, McZemer is coming over here, and uh, he's going to be helping me out with the skeleton spawner. We're going to be building that thing and uh, turning it into something uh, useful. We're going to be farming a few of these. Oh skellies and um oh i want to get these creepers over here need some gunpowder give me just a second that guy that guy get our looting sword out come on dudes you and you there we go okay you stay right there so as you can see you probably noticed over here i've been building a little bit of what looks like a cave actually it is a cave sort of it's gonna be the entrance down to the skeleton spawn there's another creeper up there give me one second sorry guys I'm really in need of gunpowder right now so <laughs> anyway what I was telling you guys is I've been working on this this cave right here which is actually the entrance to the skeleton spawner as you can see way down there that's where McZemer and I are going to be working on this skeleton spawner getting it turned into something uh, not only useful but something that looks looks good as well um, he said he has a, a design that he wants to try out and I said sure come on over because I I've seen the builds that he does and I tell you what guys this guy is in pretty incredible with his builds um, he knows how to uh, put a few blocks together so we've invited him over here to uh, help us out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to that and uh, let you guys watch and I will be continue building on this uh, entryway here. So 
I'll see you there. What's up, Zemer? Uh, nothing much, Zelski. Uh, how's it going? Uh, all right, man. Come check out the the spawner over here. So uh, I've been yeah. doing a little bit of digging out, but um, nothing really going on over here. Just a spawner. Just a spawner. Uh, a skelly spawner. Claimed yeah. by Zelski. Right, okay. right, right, right. Very nice. So, do you have any plans for this? Well, uh, that's why I'm bringing you over here because <laughs> you probably have a better idea of what to do with this thing than I do. I have. Let me show you what I've cleared out over here. So uh, I've got a little bit of a room going here, but um, and I did have a, a little bit of a plan, but I thought you know I, I need to do this right, and I need to get someone who knows a little bit more about you know building uh, skelly farms or, or you know working with skelly spawners so uh, thought I'd bring you over here well you, you definitely didn't uh, bring the professionals that that's for sure <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, I, I think I think I have something in mind for you okay I guarantee you're more professional than I am at this uh. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's paying me for this game <laughs> Okay, Any? so what I'm thinking is I I prefer style over efficiency sometimes okay. and, you know, functionality. Right, right. Uh, that's, I, yeah, I know a little... Yeah, that's kind of what I want to go for. I want to go for you know, something that, that looks good as well as, you know, has functionality. All right, should we do maybe a little bit of a cutaway after some work? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. All right, then. We'll be back in a moment. I actually started ex experimenting with uh, doing gaming on YouTube through uh, console. Which I don't know if you know through oh. <laughs> PS3. <laughs> there's really no way to uh, to stream uh, gaming through a PS3 unless you have like an Elgato or something like that. <laughs> so I would just set my I would just set up my iPhone next to my TV <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and record that way and then edit it later. And yeah, it it, was, it wasn't that great. <laughs> and uh, that was my first gaming channel, and I would actually never show anybody that <laughs> it was pretty horrible but it, I, I want somebody to ask for that footage at some point <laughs> just to like intercut it with like you know a regular episode just, you know. <laughs> right <laughs> actually you know I might bust some of that out later on just to be funny <laughs> but, but uh, it's very cringy <laughs> uh, <laughs> As you can imagine, <laughs> yeah, it's good to laugh at yourself, though, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have it all cleared out now with the stone walls up and, uh, <laughs> what is this? Would you do me? I do me. <laughs> I like Ike. <laughs> Come on, old dead memes, man. <laughs> you want to talk about dead memes? You can't get, you can't get any more dead than this. Um, so anyway, I, yeah. I really don't understand what the function of the signs are. I guess you can explain that. Well, I was thinking, I already did some of the, the water flowage, but I was thinking with our buckets combined, right? we can very easily uh, start washing everything towards the center. Uh, so, so what, we just place them in the corners? Yeah, get them placed in the corners. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, oh, I fell in. Have to do this. <laughs> oh, man. Rip you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. I'm throwing you a pearl. Oh. 
Oh, that's... oh no, not, not your today. <laughs> sorry, that's right. I'll fix it. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. <laughs> there, good as new. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. No, no, you didn't see that. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna grab. Oh, uh, we have a spider down here. Hey, bud. Oh, I, I think I got. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, okay. finish that. Uh, okay, so the, the signs keep the water from flowing over the edge. Yeah, so just pretend that I'm the skeleton. You know, I just spawned into this world, this uh -huh. cool, cool world. Um, you know, I'm going to get sent down here. I'm fighting the current, by the way. Okay. Um, well, no. Push us to the center. We go into this little chute, this little scoot chute. Uh huh. And, uh,. Brings us up to the vertical tube. Ah, so, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this this is the start of greatness right now. <laughs> you know, you need, you need a pearl. Nah, I got it. Oh, thought I had it. Maybe I do need a pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Catch. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slam my head into the ceiling there. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so we're well on our way now, you know? Just little by little. Yeah. So the skeletons will travel up from here. And how far up do they go? Um, well, that's the thing that's kind of under our discretion. Because... Uh, Unlike a lot of traps that I see people doing, because, you know, it was the old way of things. Yeah. We're not going to kill them with a drop. Okay. In fact, in fact, I personally think, you know, with, with today's technology that we have, drops, they're just, they're, they're not that great. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. The, we, we have the technology for something better, so maybe we could uh, cut to those better pastures then. <laughs> I like your thinking. All right. See you in a moment. All right. So the way this thing gets thrown together, um, you know, continuing where we left off before. Right. Uh, <laughs> we have the mob elevator here. You know, bring, uh, brings the skellies up their doom. Uh, nice. <laughs> the slabs there. You know, uh, they'll travel along there. Then they'll get dropped into the first chamber. Uh the first chamber, this andesite block here, you see it? Right. Smooth one. Hooked up to a sticky piston. It'll be pushed out. Uh, haven't wired it up yet, quite yet, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. Man, that's looking After really good. That is sweet. Oh, it's definitely looking like something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so... This level right here, where right. I'm standing. Okay. The skeletons will drop for the XP grinding. Okay. To activate the Bob softener, we're gonna have to hit this left button here. Mm -hmm. No, press that. It's gonna send an input. So we're gonna work out that system real quick. So from from the left block, you're gonna put a repeater. The ticks that you set it on doesn't really matter, but you know, just set the one. You're going to want a block of your choice. Redstone torch. Above that, a solid block. From that redstone torch, uh, I should keep the screenshot like tabbed or something. We're going to have another repeater. Set to four ticks. From that, it is a sticky piston. I, I can't remember what this kind of input is. If somebody could maybe point it out. It'd be great. Uh, but oh, jeez, come on, guy. <laughs> Get my head stuck. Don't <laughs> wait. Nope, messed it up. One more block up. There you go. Boom. Boom. All right. So when you hit that button, right now what we have is we have one tick going to the dispenser. All right. Uh, so we're just going to finish wiring this up. Bump, bump, bump. Redstone around the back. 
leading all the way up to that dispenser. Okay. Now, give me a sec. We'll, we'll test this with water because water's not going to get us killed. Right. Uh, so, testing it with water, hit the left button. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, that's a. I don't know if it's a quick pulse, but you know, it's a long enough of a pulse that it'll bring your skeletons down to a half a heart. Uh, okay. So you can just punch him to death. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So now we got to worry about okay, what what's this right button doing? R right. Button what we're yeah. gonna do with this and now? Yeah, this is where my design. I think we flushed all our torches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> my bad. Uh. This is where my design gets a little ugly, but you know what? A little bit of uh, exposed redstone never killed anybody. Right. Um, we're going to want a repeater running from this button to this block. On the back of the block, a torch. Okay. Okay. Connected to that torch, we're going to have a sticky piston. Let's see if I can yes. we'll remove that block. Boom. Okay. This makes the floor that the uh, skeletons will stand on. When you press this button, it'll drop them down. Ah, oh, okay. 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 If you've if you've already killed the skeletons, though, and this is where it becomes more useful, it will allow their drops to fall. Okay. Right. Next bit is we have to run a repeater on four ticks outside of the redstone torch here. That's gonna go to a uh, redstone, uh, the torch tower. I believe, yes, just like that. Boom, 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 solid block on top of that torch. And then we're gonna do two repeaters, one of them set the four ticks. I think that's the timing. It's not entirely perfect. Like, it doesn't matter if you get it absolutely perfect, but if we hit this button now, the right bump it, button, you should see it shuffles the mobs, kinda. Okay, right, let me set that button. okay. Let me set the both those to four ticks. We'll see if that works better. Okay. Try it again. But you see, the first block gets removed. Right. It gets put back, and then the second block up above gets moved out. That's going to cause the skeletons up above to fall into the XP chamber. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to act like the dummy here that I am. <laughs> you know, I'm a skeleton. Okay. Shuffle me in. <laughs> Boom. Huh. Now you slaughter me. You hit the <laughs> input again, and I'm supposed to disappear. Nice. Okay. That is cool. The, the, there's an easy trick you can do uh, with the hopper minecarts. You can get them stuck in a block. All you need to do is you have to have blocks to kind of pinch it in uh -huh. plus the block you want so the center block that the cards getting stuck in is the magma block here okay the blocks that are pinching it in are you know the stone here and the stair okay so we're gonna sit here we're gonna activate the piston and boom <laughs> mine cart is happily in there <laughs> to demonstrate the hopper over here has nothing in it Right. If I throw in the redstone torches, it picks them all up, just hunky dory, and they end up in the hopper at the end. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's how we're gonna collect the drops. When you kill skeletons in here, because there's a half slab and there should be glass blocking you from butting up against it. Right. Uh, to where it gets my glass. I put it. There it is. We 
because the glass doesn't let you get up into that block, they, there's going to be like arrows and bones that are going to be left on that block that right. are going to look seemingly left behind. But when you press that button, it's going to shuffle them down. That's cool. Yeah, so to show this whole process, uh, I'm going to act as the guinea pig. Just okay. Pretend, pretend I came from the spawner. I fell down from the water chute here. Uh huh. And go ahead and press that button. I go from the holding chamber down to the killing chamber, the, the, the grinding chamber. You know, right. You whack me once. Whack me. Oh. That's not how it works. How do you get out of here? Oh, you dumb, dumb, dumb. But you know, now I'm down here on the magma box, you know, taking right. damage. Eventually I'll die. Yeah. Eventually I'll die. And then I'll drop all my stuff and, you know, it'll just get blah, 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 blah. All into the magma box. <laughs> That is cool. I'm at like two hearts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you might want to eat. <laughs> I also realized I was in the line of fire of the skeletons. Right. <laughs> they were taking well. <laughs> pot shots at you while you were dying on magma there. Thanks, skellies. <laughs> okay, guys. So, uh, Zebra and I have finished this spawner in here. And uh, we're going to take a look at it. Check that out. What's up, man? Oh, hey, Selsky. <laughs> It is working perfectly. That yeah, is... I'm just uh, I'm repairing my pick right now, dude. I, I'm really amazed at this thing. This I, I've never seen a uh, mob spawner like this before. Uh, yeah, I kind of hope you wouldn't be having be able to find anything like this myself. You know, kind of just threw it together one day. <laughs> This is cool. I love I love how you can just <laughs> sit here and watch them. <laughs> like, yeah, you're about to die. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, give me the rundown on how this thing works. Okay, so last time we were here, I kind of made a boo boo. Yeah. Uh, with trying to show out how everything was working. Um, I don't know if anybody noticed, but buttons I chose to use before were wooden. Uh, that was a bad because <laughs> I I wasn't reminded of this till after and I, I tried to AFK here and you know grind levels and I realized yeah. wow this thing ain't working right. Uh, going back to the original design that I had I noticed weird like you know they all had stone buttons. Right. Turned out looked it up stone buttons and wooden buttons have different timings on them. Really? So, yeah, the redstone pulse you get from a stone button is just a smidge shorter than the wooden buttons. You learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, I, I, I didn't know that before today. Yeah, me either. Uh, I, <laughs> it, it's, yeah, it's really tricky. Uh, on top of that, there was another boo-boo I made. So, you know, yeah. just goof up all around. Uh, let's just run around to the back. Okay. I'm following you. So, it was really only one block I messed up. Right here, I had a solid block before with redstone dust on top of it. Uh, that's not how it should be done. Yeah. Uh, it should be done with a repeater on two ticks. That just, uh, you know, okay. gives the proper timing. But other than that, this this thing's running exactly how it should. So, so sh show me the uh, the function, what what the buttons do. Well, I think uh, if anybody was paying attention to what I've been doing, you know, the, I'm just going right. through the rounds of it. Um, so, first step is all the skeletons go into like I'm going to say the holding chamber up yep. top. Right. You know, they just start piling in. Uh, from there. You press this right button. Uh, if you look, I kind of labeled it with the item frame right. mob dropper. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You press that, it does exactly as it reads. Nice. It drops all the mobs down one level. Uh, <laughs> once the once the skeletons are in here, uh, we can go to the left bumper uh, button here, which reads mob softener. Press that, dispenses lava. 
it'll drop these guys down to just one punch. Now, since uh, it's a little inconsistent with them because they sometimes fall from distance. Yeah. And it might take one or more punches. So, you know, if you're sitting here like, you know, a lot of us do these days, uh, right. mending the sword, you know, with sweeping edge, you just sit there and just one shot just about everything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> By the way, since we started recording, <laughs> I yeah. gained over 300 durability. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> yeah, just just on my pick, not including, you know, the little bits going to my sword and my levels. Uh, but yeah, once... <laughs> That's crazy. Once you... Uh, yeah, once you slaughter them, like, you know, you see the arrow that's kind of stuck in there. Yeah. It's not a big deal because there's a third chamber to this thing. Um, yeah. And maybe one of the best ways to show this off is to flip the kill switch. Okay. All right. This switch, what it does is it pulls out all the blocks from underneath the skeletons. They go straight down to the third chamber. The third chamber I like to call the killing chamber. Uh, let's go down and check it out. Okay. It's behind you. Yeah, it's behind you. So, <laughs> down <here. laughs> so down here we have a, a magma block. Now, uh, when you stand on a magma block, it gives burn damage to, right. I think, just about every mob, except pigmen. I know they're an exception. Uh, but, you know, skeletons will go down here. If any health that they have left, they'll just melt away. Uh, and they'll die. And <laughs> all their drops that there's a hopper mine card underneath here. I'll take all those drops and I'll send them to this item elevator. Uh, this was not worked on last time we were here. Right. I uh, I went this together, you know, just the other night uh, in between recordings. That's so cool. it's an item elevator using observer blocks, and you know what? This has to be my favorite item. Uh, elevator ever, you know, because this thing's like some people might argue that the quartz is kind of expensive, which I right. guess it kind of is, right? You know, to get a stack of quartz doesn't take that long, and these observer blocks go a long way with functionality. Wow, so <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> as soon as it picks up an item, it just shoots it straight up to the top, and then it goes to. What I built you was an item sorting system. So Yeah, let's go check that out. Yeah. Because that is really cool. So, so. the first two banks of uh, chest you have here are going to be sorted into arrows and bones. Okay. Yeah, if you want to check that out real quick. Bones, <laughs> wow. We've... We've only had this running for like what two nights now? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> two nights, and, of course, and you already have over a chest full. Right, and of course we haven't been over, been on the server that long, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, for all I know, you're the only ones who've been here. So, basically, I could just sit here, open the chute here, and AFK, and just fill the chest by just standing here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you won't get any bows, you won't get any armor, but, you know, if you want to sit here and you want to grind for those arrows and bones, you totally can. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Also, I, I had a little bit of something. I talked to you about it earlier, and we yeah. were a little indecif dice indecisive on it. Yeah. Sorry, my tongue is tied. Uh, <laughs> We ended up uh, making a viewer. Oh, how do? How oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. Um, we can think. go through the back here. So yeah. <laughs> this is this is gray. I I think this is gray glass. Maybe it's light gray. Right. Um. From here, we can pretty much just watch the whole process go from you know ah, so skeletons cool. spawning in and getting <laughs> stuck into the machine. Uh, nice. Believe it or not. You're looking in there right now, and it's actually it's kind of bright, right? Yeah, well, it's kind it of bright. Well, check, ch check this out. Just look through this hole here. Okay, I just made. Look at the difference between looking through non-glass and through the glass. 
<laughs> Ouch. Kind of strafe side to side. Right here. Do you see the difference? Like, it's pitch black where when you're looking through here, uh -huh. but um, it, it looks like there's actually still light when you go through the, the gray glass. Right, yeah, yeah. So, it's really just pitch black in there, but um, I, I believe I have this set up so nothing nasty will spawn in this area. So, it's fairly safe to just chill out here. Cool. Wow. Yeah. I love it, man. This is this is so cool. <laughs> you did an awesome yeah. job. Well, thanks. Uh, you definitely helped, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I, I could have... I, I could have never come up with something like this by myself. Wow. <laughs> really cool. So anyway, guys, that was my collab with McZemer, and I really, really appreciate him coming over here and helping me with that skelly spawner. As you can see, we got Mr. Edward Man out of the hole over there. So he's safe and sound back over here where he belongs. So anyway, guys, I'm doing a little more work on the lodge up there because I'm getting it ready to start uh, on this uh, ice boat race course. Um, I still have not started the course yet because I'm waiting for that lodge up there to be completed before I start that. And um, I think with the skelly spawner over there uh, completed and um, entrance almost completed. Actually, let me get over here and show you guys the entrance, uh, show you what I have accomplished so far on this. I still have a, mm, over halfway to go on the entrance here. So this is going to be more of a, more or less an ice cave. So I have ice on the walls all the way down to about here. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a new uh, villager right here that I need to get moved to a safer location. And I can hear a witch around here somewhere, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. Um, so anyway, I've gotten to this point so far. I need to start adding more ice on the walls around in here. And continue downward with this with this uh, walkway the stairs are not gonna look like this I'm gonna add more of the white quartz and more of the diorite things like that to kind of break up this uh, cobble look so it'll wind all the way down this way through this tunnel here and yes this is actually a long distance but it's going to be good once I finish this thing until you get to the spawner here and of course there's the spawner right there so and then once I get down here to the spawner I will be building the same the same ordeal um, around the spawner and I, I believe McZemer said he would come back and help me uh, design the look of the spawner area right here so that's gonna be really cool and I may I may record that and bring that to you guys as well I don't know yet but um, if you guys would like to see McZemer come back and uh, do a few more builds with me, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to know what you guys think about that. And I'd like to know what you guys think about the, today's collab with McZemer. And uh, anyway, guys, I really, really appreciate you watching. And I really, really appreciate your support so very, very much. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.